Hi everyone, it's time for another Rapid Randomizer review, courtesy of the Randomizer.net. So, let's find out what we've got. We have In the Forest of the Night. If you want to be surprised by Doctor Who, try a Rapid Randomizer review! Trees. In the Forest of the Night, the penultimate story of Peter Capaldi's first series. So we're going back to 2014 for this one. This is an interesting one for me because I absolutely loved it on first broadcast, whereas my fiance really didn't. And it was a while before I went back and watched it again. When I came back to it, I realised that I did have a problem with this story. But let's talk about what's nice about it to start with. The three regulars, so Peter Capaldi, Jenna Coleman, and Samuel Anderson, I really enjoy their performances in this story. I really love pairing up Peter Capaldi with children, especially in his first season where he's kind of awkward about it, but you get this sense in his performance that he wants to be comfortable with them, he just isn't. And that provides some great tension, especially with the character of Maeve. I think she's really well played, she's a great little actress. Where the story really falls down for me is in its message. There's some sentience within the trees and some sentience within nature, which makes this forest spring up. And you know what, the production team do their best to realise this, you know, they chuck keep left signs in the middle of a forest. I'm not going to begrudge them too much for that. The visuals don't quite sell it, but all the green looks lovely. The cinematography looks great. But we end the story with children basically saying that we don't have to do anything to care for the environment or to stop a global catastrophe. The environment will take care of itself. And in this period of rising temperatures, rising sea levels, the possibility that whole island nations are going to disappear if we don't take action on climate change, I find that really, really tone deaf that we have children saying, we don't need to do anything, the environment will look after us. Now, what is happening in the story is not a man-made disaster. It is a natural phenomenon, the solar flare, which is going to hit Earth. I just think it's really irresponsible of the production team to put out this message that the planet is going to look after us, the planet is here to save us, when we are in a time where we are treating the planet so poorly. And to put that in the mouths of children, it just feels so off to me. There's also the fact that the forest just kind of vanishes with, with sort of magic dust. It kind of doesn't sell not the threat is the wrong word but it doesn't sell the seriousness of the situation and it's something this era does far too often of just saying oh people will forget about this people won't talk about it we've used that explanation a few too many times i'm not sure how exactly i would fix it and look there's, there's lovely character work there's some lovely script moments the kids are really well observed and really well performed um, This story's brain is in the right place, but its heart isn't. I'd give it 6 out of 10. There's still some stuff to enjoy if you don't think too hard about it.